Hello, and welcome to this Open SAP course, Build Intelligent Data Apps with SAP HANA Cloud Multimodel. My name is Markus Fahrt, and I'm an architect in the SAP HANA Development Organization. In this course, we will give you an overview and an introduction to SAP HANA Cloud's multimodal capabilities. Here's what we are going to cover. After this brief introduction, we will be talking a little bit how to manage data in SAP HANA Cloud. And in specific, we will be looking at managing JSON data in the document store. Then we will be looking at georeference data, that is spatial data, and we'll be looking at ways to analyze spatial data. After that, we will introduce full text search capabilities of SAP HANA Cloud and uh, give you an idea of how you can build search-based applications. Um, next, we will be analyzing connected data using the SAP HANA Graph Engine. And finally, we will combine some of the capabilities and uh, feed data into SAP HANA Cloud's machine learning capabilities in order to derive new insights. Let's get started. SAP HANA Cloud meets all your data needs. That means um, it is capable of powering your real mission critical applications and analytics by combining transactional capabilities and analytical capabilities in one solution. So there is no need to store data in a redundant way. It also provides you ways to build intelligent data applications uh, via its embedded machine learning and multimodal capabilities. And finally, it provides in-memory performance for all your data needs. And especially, it allows you also to federate out to third-party systems and include that data in your data application. A brief look at um, specific layers that SAP HANA Cloud offers um, to store and manage your data depending on the temperature. So basically, the priority and needs that the application developer has towards the persistency or the store of the data. Um, first of all, on the top layer, we have the SAP HANA Cloud in-memory database that stores your data in memory and is super fast for providing analytical capabilities on top of that data. Beneath the in-memory database layer, there is the so-called data lake. It offers you disk-based storage of relational data, that means tables, as well as files, be it CSV files or Parquet files. And finally, there is a layer that provides virtual access to remote systems and include data from these remote systems also in an application that sits on top of SAP HANA Cloud. Besides the virtual access, there is of course also ways and tools to replicate data from third-party stores or third-party applications into SAP HANA Cloud. Now, looking at the multimodal capabilities in specific, we will mainly focus on um, four of these capabilities. That is spatial, graph, machine learning, and the JSON document store. We offer APIs and tools for different personas to work with these multimodal capabilities. So be the developer, full stack developer who works with the database layer or a data scientist maybe working in a Python environment and running machine learning algorithms. Quickly on um, HANA Cloud Spatial, uh, here we provide um, specific data types to store points and lines and polygons and things of that nature and a wide variety of um, functions and methods and predicates to deal with this geo-reference data. As a Pihana Cloud Graph provides you an easy way to um, work with and analyze network data or connected data. 
So uh, data that is comprised out of nodes or vertices and edges or relationships. Then there is uh, SAP HANA machine learning. It's um, a built-in library of uh, modern machine learning algorithms, which you can run or invoke on the data that sits inside SAP HANA Cloud. And finally, there is the SAP HANA Cloud JSON document store, which allows you to manage a schema-free or schema-flexible data in form of JSON. Throughout this course, we will be looking at different stages or different processing steps that um, we, uh, we prepared or that we did in order to power this demo. So that demo will be an overarching story throughout the course. The demo is helping an engineer to identify suitable locations for placing charging stations for electric vehicles. So um, the persona using this demo application is a planning engineer who provides his um, expertise to actual construction companies who are building up these EV charging stations. That Persona is using a modern analytic solution, um, which in this case is S3 ArcGIS Insights as a front end. So let's dive into that demo. Okay, um, here is the demo application. Um, what we do see in this application is, um, first of all, um, the locations of the existing electric vehicle charging stations in the Orlando area. So these are the yellow rectangles on the map. Um, we can already dive into the spatial distribution by looking at um, the charging stations, for example, of specific network providers, like in this case, ChargePoint or Tesla, and understand where the charging stations are currently being built. Next, we can bring in an additional layer showing us the road network of Orlando and um, also giving us some insights on um, traffic behavior or uh, speed characteristics on this road network. This is important um, additional information to understand where charging stations are built and where is it suitable to build up new charging stations. Now, um, people in the downtown area usually go to a restaurant, go to the movies, and are looking for a charging station nearby to give their uh, electric vehicle a charge while they are at dinner or something like that. So it's also important to understand where are points of interest. And I just brought in a POI layer. Um, which, of course, um, contains so many data points that it's absolutely not possible for an end user to understand any spatial distribution by simply looking at that vast amount of points of interest. We can still try to understand a little bit and drilling down into eating and drinking points of interest and stuff like that, but basically there is a lot of information and it's not um, easy to digest that as a human. So as part of the application, we uh, created um, uh, that land use or uh, urban land use types. So deriving from the points of interest and also deriving from building structures and their use, we use the classification mechanism in order to understand which area are mainly used for which purpose. So you see here that the blue areas in the map are mostly characterized by um, commercial buildings or commercial purposes. And here we already understand that the most existing charging stations are in commercial areas and not so much, for example, in residential areas. Last but not least, the application provides access to site suitability scores which are derived using SAP HANA's cloud, HANA Cloud's um, machine learning capabilities. So we trained a model 
on um, to forecast or to predict the number of charging stations based on location characteristics. And we are looking for these location characteristics throughout that Orlando area and then depicting these areas where no charging stations are already being built up. So the more blue the area, for example, is, the higher the potential is for uh, a charging station to be built up. And that is the final information that um, the demo user is able to absorb from that application and um, kind of condense it into advice into for construction companies. That concludes unit one of this open SAP course, building intelligent data applications with SAP HANA Cloud. See you in the next unit where we'll be talking about how to manage data with SAP HANA Cloud and we'll be looking at the JSON document store in specific.